This is an amazing and fast way to wash your ceramic coated vehicle with no hose. My name's Ivan. I'm Nick. And this is DIY Detail. This Wrangler is a time capsule. It's a 2014 and it has less than 1900, not 19,000, 1900 miles on it. 1,840 to be exact. It's a ceramic coated vehicle, yeah. pretty good shape. We don't need a hose to give it a good detail. No, you don't need a hose. And if you own a Jeep, I've owned Jeeps, I know this, they have nooks and crannies everywhere that make them actually very difficult to wash. And when you use a hose on your Jeep, you know that you're chasing water for days. It That's seems, no fun. It seems to come out of everywhere. So we're gonna do this as a hoseless wash, meaning you're at home, you don't have a hose, you live in an apartment, your vehicle has a bit of dirt, a bit of contamination on it, we're gonna take care of it for you. Well, why don't you get started, Ivan, tell us what you've got here and what's in said device. So this is a detailing keg. Um, you can make one yourself. You can get a garden sprayer at any home store. They all do the same thing. Basically, it's pressurized with air, and in there we have one gallon of water and half an ounce and or one capful of our rinseless wash. I was searching for a bottle to show the people, but it's a yellow solution, it comes as a concentrate. You mix one ounce of it to two gallons of water, which we did earlier, and it's good to go. Right, and basically, we're just going to spread it all over the vehicle. Now, and as you do that, Ivan, I want the people to know what this looks like. It comes in a gallon, comes in a 16 ounce bottle. It's always gonna come concentrated, so you're gonna get a ton of uses out of it because you only need one ounce of this for two gallons of water, which is probably what you've got in there, right? Exactly. And this Jeep is garage kept, only driven on the most beautiful of days. It's never seen anything remotely off of a road. I think our driveway is probably the most adventurous road it's ever been on. I like There's the color. at least three potholes here. It, it's a bold color. Yeah, it's a bold color. The gentleman that owns this loves his Jeep, but to him, it's a collection piece. And at this point, with the mileage that it has on it, it is a collection piece. I always forget how many nooks and crannies Jeeps have. Like you go to polish one when you're doing a, yeah. a polish or coating job, everything looks super flat and easy and then you're just, you're into contours. It becomes an exercise in patience. Yeah, Jeeps are definitely not one of the easier vehicles to wash. They look small, they look unassuming. Some have called them a detailer's nightmare. Now we've been told by the owner this has been ceramic coated. I don't know what brand, but it was a while ago. And uh, so far it's cleaning up real, real easy. Just a little bit of dust. And the rinseless wash does a great job when you pre-treat the panel of encapsulating that light dirt and dust and making for a very safe wash process. I'm gonna redunk my rinseless wash sponge. I'm just doing this because I feel like I wanna be extra safe. But I'm not using a hose. Um, I'm using no pressure, I'm, I'm re-dunking the, the legacy sponge, Ivan. I'm just doing all the things. Right, and I have a wash bucket on this side as well because we're doing a two bucket wash, one on either side of the vehicle. I don't think a bug has ever graced this windshield. I don't think so. 1,800 miles is not a lot for a 10 year old vehicle. Not at all. It's not a lot for a one year old vehicle, Never mind a 10 year old vehicle. That is true, sir. I've known the owner of this Jeep for almost 30 years, so he likes to take care of his stuff, as you can see. We actually used to work for the same company at one point, so. No way. Yeah. Back in the 80s. Back in the 80s, huh? Yeah, in the late 80s, so it's yeah, well over 30 years. Do you like on principle the idea, Ivan, that this vehicle hasn't been driven? On principle, no. It's nice to see, it's fun, but to me, vehicles are meant to be driven. And I know, as a former Jeep owner, Jeep owners are looking at this and going, 
but it's all stock. 100% stock. Does that make it more collectible? No, no. It has no lift. It has no aftermarket bumpers. It has no aftermarket lights. The doors have never been off of it. And you call yourself a Jeep owner? Yeah, I'm not fighting any bug guts here. This is truly no. a, uh, a lightly soiled, if not dusty vehicle, which is just a perfect candidate for a rinse wash. Right. Well, this one's a perfect candidate for a museum, but. That's so true. Like even the inner fenders are new. Ivan, mean, I'm starting on the wheels down here. I don't know if they need to be cleaned, but I'm gonna try. Okay, now we're really into interesting territory. The roof has never been off this vehicle and the factory soft top is still in its original package back here. Wow. Yeah. And for those of you attacking your keyboards at the moment, no, it is not for sale. He's saving it for his grandson. I think the only thing that isn't 100% stock on this is the oil, because he has it changed once a year, even though he doesn't drive it. Oh, really? For proper maintenance. Yep. And he has a cover over the spare tire. But other than that, we have 100% factory fresh stock Wrangler. So this Jeep uh, has been outside for most of the day. So the rinse and swash is drying on it. So before we hit it with a decontamination towel, I'm just gonna add a little more rinse and swash to the surface. Now I could have used all clean on these wheels, but we just use rinseless. Right. Uh, if not we even... wanted to strip the tire shine, we could have used all clean and then just rubbed it down with a rinse and stamp and towel, but otherwise it's looking pretty good. Yeah, there's no need. They don't have brake dust on them. They've never been off a road. So as it's ceramic coated, we're gonna give it a little extra love. We're gonna use our perforated synthetic decontamination towel and ceramic gloss. One spray on the paint, two just for good measure because of this vehicle, one on the towel, and then I'm just lightly going to go over the surface, plucking the contamination off of this pristine paint. Ooh, that was poetic. Pucking, plucking the contamination off this pristine, plucking from the pristine paint. I have an ear for alliteration, I have in the three Ps. They just, they gave me tingles. There you go. Poetry in motion over here. Oh, you're, uh, you're deconning. Yes, decontamination, ceramic gloss. All right, back to your scheduled programming here, folks. Ceramic gloss on the decon towel. Oh, I, I, feel, I feel the plucking is happening. Yeah, you don't have to go over it more than once, but you know, there may have been some embedded close to contamination on this. No, this feels appropriate though. I feel like the paint is enjoying this. It, uh, it's smoothing out under my towel for sure. Yeah. And that's the thing is you can use the towel with ceramic gloss or with iron remover and safely decontaminate your coated car like this. Honestly, as often as you want, you don't need to. But as long as you're safe with no pressure and the proper lubrication, we're not marring up the paint. Oh, not at all. And you just kind of go until you don't feel anything rough under your towel. There's barely anything, Ivan, but I can, I can feel it a little bit at first and then it sort of gives way. Yeah, and that rough sound you just heard was me on the roof, not on the, uh, not on the paint, so no need to worry. Doing the glass while we're here. Now I could respray with the sprayer. Sometimes just to feel extra safe, let me just squeeze out my towel on the panel just to keep, just to keep the rinseless wash wet on the panel. Now if you have a new perforated synthetic decontamination towel, Ivan, you don't put it right on paint. No, you want to break it in on the glass, and that's the only time we're going to suggest to use a bit of pressure on your towel. Now, if you're working outside, you do not want the ceramic gloss to dry on the paint. If it dries on the paint, it can come right back off. Don't worry, you just need to add a little more ceramic gloss, but you're best not to let it dry on the paint. Yeah, even the front bumper has never seen an insect in its life. 
And now it's just ready to dry. I, I don't mind the idea of a little ceramic gloss under where I'm gonna dry. Even though it's on the paint, it's yep. offering me a little bit more lubrication in the moment. Exactly. Uh, rinse this wash could also work well here. If you're like, hey, I already sprayed ceramic gloss. I don't wanna spend any more money on this, on this vehicle. Fine, you could have your uh, rinse this wash keg and mist it a little bit more if you'd like. Or There's, there's many ways to, uh, to get this job done right, Evan. Yeah. You just wanna think, I'm always wanting lubrication on my vehicle as I go about the job. Oh boy, it's looking glossy now. It's glossy, it's slick, it's clean, and for all intents and purposes, it's new. I believe since we are in Nebraska, this is a, uh, an ode to the Nebraska football team. Yes, the Huskers. He's a fan. He is a fan. That's the only non-stock part on this Jeep. He has a, one of their tire covers on the back, so. Now, one big advantage of the rinseless wash, especially with a Jeep, is we're not gonna be picking up drips for days. There's one shiny, slick Jeep. Yes, it is. Slick is a good word for it, because it, it doesn't just look good, it feels good under my towel. Yeah. Which, I mean, I'm gonna give ceramic gloss credit, but if this is really ceramic coated as well, that doesn't hurt at all. No. We have a Jeep bumperette here that is almost 10 years old, these corner bumperettes, and they're not even faded. Even the door jams are clean, Ivan. Of course they're clean. You know, the more I clean this, the more offended I'm getting that they don't drive this. Like, why? Why? This belongs on the road. It belongs in the wild. Yeah. Well, at this point, in its journey, maybe best to keep it this way. Boy, is she looking good. A good disaster detail, a restoration, does feel rewarding. But, man, do I enjoy cleaning a well-maintained vehicle that... Yeah. It's just, okay, this is the way it's supposed to be, right? You take care of your stuff, you protect it, and when it gets dirty, it's easy to clean, and it, and it cleans up very nicely as well. Yeah. I'm feeling like Go Huskers right now. I'm just in the mood. I'm just staring into this paint and feeling a type of way. Bit of ceramic gloss on the wheels. I'm feeling safe using my paint drying towel on these wheels, Ivan. I think if you clean your wheels well enough, or since in this case they were already pretty clean, yeah. you got nothing to worry about. Exactly. But if you're not really cleaning your wheels the first time, then yeah, I get why you don't want to use the same towel. Just so clean them the first time. <laughs> So the brake rotors in the back, not a speck of rust on them. Not surprised. Yeah. This is really a time capsule. I get that I area between the spare tire and the tailgate. It's always difficult to get on a Jeep. Hope his grandson appreciates this car. Well, it's taken a lot of restraint on his grandfather's will to not drive this thing, because they are fun to drive. What did you like about owning a Jeep, Ivan? The ease of pulling it behind the bus. And when you take the, the roof off, the doors off, it's fun. And there we go. We have an even cleaner, clean red Jeep. Should we add some tire shine? Some tire lotion? I think that would be a good idea. Let's finish it off right. Oh, there's a scuff on this mirror, Nick. Yeah, I noticed a couple of things. Yeah. Just a couple. Nothing serious. I've been talking about your strategy when using our tire lotion with the black and white, kind of the, the pepper flag tip brush. Yeah, so the salt and pepper brush, basically with the brush you can run it right up against the rim without getting it on the rim. And then with these semi knobby tires here, it's easy to get it into the knobs and off we go. Ooh, a little excess there. Boom. Sets the tone, a, a shine tire. Conditioned and pretty. I 
say it's good for another 10 years before its next wash. You think so? It's going in the garage where it belongs. It's going back in the garage. Get a little bit of dust on it for another 10 years. Now he drives it once or twice a year, goes and gets an ice cream cone. <laughs> ice cream cone. <laughs> yeah. It's red. Of course he goes to get an ice cream cone with it. Come on. It's the right color for it. It's loud. It's got the, it's got the DIY detail colors, which I really like. Yeah, yeah. So there we have it. It's easy to maintain, decontaminate, and get a little more gloss to your ceramic coated vehicle. If you like ceramic coated vehicles, you want to learn how to do it yourself, check out this video and leave your comments and questions right below.